so in this video we are working with this part uh, from the presentation okay which is nothing but the aggregator okay so what aggregator do it handle the commands okay uh, trigger the event you can put some business logic or any kind of validation okay and uh, yeah that's it what is that's what aggregator do okay now let's go into the programming side i'm creating the aggregator okay so uh, let me name uh, let me rename it okay so my typo okay so again we need uh, those three attribute same attribute here okay inside the aggregator uh, so where it is here it is so i'm pasting them okay so here we need to use to uh, add to annotation so first we need to tell this is the aggregator you are looking for this is the aggregator we are looking for and again we need to provide the identifier which is nothing but the id for this aggregator so i am using aggregate identifier okay uh, i am just renaming this variable uh, to employee id or emp id okay so yeah this is how we are going uh, we are putting all three variables here basically we are fi uh, firing that command from here which is nothing but the create employee command okay so we are going to handle that command inside the constructor so first i am going to write the default constructor let me generate the default constructor here uh yeah uh, where it is here so i don't need anything so this is default constructor now i am going to write the parameterized constructor which take the input okay which take the input as a command okay let me write above so what it is going to take input it is going to take input as a command create employee command i am just copying the command name and putting it here command okay so this is what it take the input okay so what we are going to do we are getting the values from the command okay and we need to set that values into the event so what is event again event is nothing but the pojo so i am creating the pojo called employee uh, sorry uh, create uh, so create employee event okay so this is the event and i am going to putting again that same value here and i am putting annotation called at the red data okay so which is giving getter setter uh, all things okay now let's go to the aggregator what i am trying to do here i am getting the value from the command and setting into the event okay here only so let me set it so here we are getting data from the command and creating the event okay so once we create the event we need to send that event through aggregate life cycle okay so we have aggregate life cycle as a class okay so yeah that's it for the creating the command yeah we miss one thing which is the annotation we need to tell we are going to handle that create employee command okay right we need to tell we are handling this uh, create employee command where we need to handle it here so for that we need a annotation command handler okay so yeah we done with the command 